everybody I'm going to show you uh, one of the things to do with uh, uh, that you can do with your uh, cuttlefish blanks uh, the ring stock something I'll do is I will punch out uh, earrings studs out of them um, this is a piece this is about two-thirds one it's a casting that didn't come out I have a cheap circle cutter and I'm not sure about shelf life of your circle cutter doing this this is an off-brand uh, one, and what I'm going to do is I might use my Larry light too if I can't see. Is I'll shine my Larry light and talk about this. See, I'll shine it in from the side so I can see, and I'm lining it up on the quarter inch and tightening it down, and of course. I broke the button. There we go. I broke the button. I smacked it. So, okay, I got it lined up. And putting it in there. And bam. Oh, and you need to do image down. Okay, sorry, that, that wasn't up. And what you get is a all you gotta do is uh solder a back onto it you've got a uh, one you know you do it twice and you got a set of uh, cuttlefish uh, earrings and I don't have a pair of, okay oopsie I don't have a pair of pliers here I wonder if I can huh. I'm gonna show you just you, you lose a little bit of the uh, And to show you, you do lose a little bit, you know, it impresses a little, but you can get, you know, I'd say three, four sets of earrings. If you did it right, you could get four sets of earrings out of one piece of ring stock. Uh, and uh, I'm going to show you how, just real quick, uh, a lot of people use shank benders and, and stuff like that, but me... I just use my thumbs. My fingertips are really numb. They're, I have to like use the inside knuckles, but um, I've cut the the sprue back, you know, off of it, you know, the sprue, and uh, filed it down. But say a seven, I just line it up, and I use my fingers and just bend it around. It, it's pretty easy to work with. And I will use a, uh, where's my little baby? There it is. I will use a tiny, this is a, a nylon head, nylon brass of one of my favorite little hammers. Just to get a little bit of shape and definitely something non-marring or not very heavy. But, uh, this is an eight. And I'm just going to bend it around because I'm not sure if what kind of setting I'm going to do or what I'm going to do with it. But that's a start to a ring. So I just thought I'd show a couple uses uh, for my uh, cuttlefish ring stop.